What's going on guys? So in today's video, we are going to be taking a closer look at the all new Whiston Lee High Runner Bone Conduction Earphone. Do not worry about it guys. It is still not broken even though it is submerged in water. This is rated IPX8 waterproof, meaning you can actually go diving with it because it can go down under up to 65 foot of water and still work perfectly fine. So if you ever happen to wear this while you're swimming, running, riding bicycle, or hiking and get it just a little dirty, just feel free to go ahead and throw it in some water, rinse it up, and continue using it. All right, so here's a box to ship and deliver it to you, and here is everything that is inside of the box. First thing you have is a quick, very short instructional manual that you can read within a few minutes. Second, you have this little ribbon piece to hold your Bluetooth or hold your charger. And here's the charging cable. The charging cable on one end, you have a standard 2.0 USB. And on the other end, you have a magnetic four pin that will connect to the earphone to recharge the earphone as well as transferring music onto the earphone. And last of all, you have your Whiston Lee High Runner Bone Conduction Earphone. And here it is, guys. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the actual bone conduction earphone itself here. So this does have the latest Bluetooth version 5.0 and it is actually on its own a MP3 player as well because if you don't want to connect this to your phone, computer, laptop, or tablet, you can actually just put music directly onto this earphone because it does have a built-in 32 gig of space. That way you can load up to 5,000 different songs onto there and use it as a standalone MP3 player, which I find very, very useful nowadays because not everywhere you go, you'll be able to have your phone or computer or tablet with you. And especially when you're swimming or exercising, sometimes you are not in close range enough for Bluetooth, even though this does provide up to 33 foot away from your device when you are using Bluetooth mode. So on this side, you have the Whiston Lee brand. And this two ends right here, as you can see, this port is the port that will actually rest on the side of your head right here. When you are wearing this, it kind of sucked onto your face, not too tight and not too loose. It is just enough for you to actually go running, swimming, riding, or hiking, and this still stay firmly on your head and does not fall or move around at all, which is really, really nice. Now, this acts as a bone conductor, so when you wear this on your head, it does put out a little music. So let's say you are just leaving it like this, right? And you play the music, you can still hear the music a little bit, but then not loud to the point where everybody around is going to hear you. The way they designed this is inside of here, they have a technology that instead of actually putting the sound waves directly into your ear and long-term it might hurt your ear, this actually rests on the outside of your ear. And the bone conduction technology actually allows you to hear the music at the same time, leaving your ear open. That way you can still hear what is going on in your surrounding. So that's enjoyment and safety all at once, guys. Now, if you take a closer look on the right-hand side here, this is when you wear it around your head. This is going to be the right side. You have three buttons in the little hole right here. This is a built-in microphone. So when you are using Bluetooth mode on your phone, you can use this to talk on the phone as well. So here's a mic. Here's a plus button to increase the volume, or you can also forward to the next song. So single push will increase the volume and hold it down for about one to two seconds will go to the next song. The middle button is the power on and off button. And you can also use this button to go from Bluetooth mode over to MP3 player mode. So simply press it twice quick to go over to Bluetooth mode or press it twice again to go back into MP3 mode. And last of all, you have the minus button. This is to decrease the volume and you can hold it down for one to two seconds to go to the previous song as well. Now, everything you do will have a voice prompt. So let's say when you hold the power button to turn it off, after two or three seconds, it will say power off. Or when you power it on, it will say power on. And when the audio is at maximum volume, it will say maximum volume. Now on the same side here, but right here you have the four pins. This is for you to connect the charging cable to recharge this and it charges very, very fast as well, guys. From zero to 1% is only about two hours. So no matter how much you use this, the maximum time charge is up to two hours or faster. Now inside of here, you also have a built-in 32 gig memory. That way when you connect the USB cable on here and connect the standard USB 2 side onto your computer, you can actually transfer music directly onto this earphone right here and 32 gigabyte is enough space for up to 5,000 different songs guys that's a lot of music right there so you can use this however way you want and again guys I love the fact that I can use this as a standalone and do not need any other device and just 
directly play music right off of this headphone right here. Now, let me go ahead and show you a better size comparison. So here's the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And as you can see it, guys, side by side, it is very small and fits around your head very comfortably. And it is very, very light as well, guys. You barely feel it when you have it around your head. And to be even more specific, it weighs exactly at 30 gram. Now, as for its battery life on one single full charge, you can get up to 12 hours of continuous use if you are listening to music at about 50 to 60% volume. If you turn it up higher, then of course you'll get about seven to eight hours on maximum. As for its durability, guys, the material they use is very durable. So you can really twist and turn this however way you want and it will go right back to its shape and then you can continue using it anytime you want. So the first and foremost feature that I love most about this product is it is rated IPX8 waterproof guys. You can bring this with you anywhere you want to go regardless if you're going swimming, diving into the ocean, no matter where you go, this can rest around your head and you can enjoy music no matter where you are and it is just purely amazing because most other earphones are only rated like IPX5, 6, or 7, but not this one right here, guys. For the price range, it is pretty amazing. Now, when it comes to the audio quality, of course, this is different from traditional earphone because it uses bone conduction technologies. At first, when I started using it, it was giving me this little tingling feeling of the ears, but then I got used to it very, very quickly, and I fell in love with it very fast as well. Overall, this bone conduction earphone is very well built, and I actually do like it. If you want to check it out, links to it will be in the description box down below. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you all in the next video.